In previous day, Jaraji explained how one should be noting so that Satipatthana will be of best quality. And there is still explanation left to be explained together with the example, but Jaraji will not explain further. As much one asserts effort in the practice, practicing systematically, the person will become sati ma. The person will be endowed with sati mindfulness, and there will be sati patana, firmly established mindfulness. In the word sati ma. Mandu or Ma means being endowed with. Sati Ma means being endowed with mindfulness. The person is not endowed with Sati mindfulness in ordinary way, but the person is endowed with Sati extremely. Like a person who has material wealth, such as a millionaire or a billionaire, in the same way, sati ma means the person who is endowed with mindfulness extremely. Ati saya, meaning the person has intense mindfulness. In order that the mindfulness arise, there are supporting causes that are distant, as well as the supporting causes that are immediate. By having distant causes and immediate causes for sati to arise, as the person is mindful. The person has extinguished the fires of raga, dosa, moha. When it is said that raga, dosa, moha fire is extinguished, other defilement fires are also extinguished. Having extinguished the defilement fire, there will be peace. If the fire breaks out, the fire will leave the fuel dirty and polluted. Having mindfulness, the mind will be pure, clean, gentle, peaceful, and lovable. It is very satisfactory to be endowed with. Such intense mindfulness. If there is intense mindfulness, then it automatically involves samatha or samadhi concentration. As the mindfulness sits on the object that has been noticed. The mind will not go elsewhere. The mind is not distant with the object. The mind will not be distracted or scattered, but it will be calm, collected, unified on the object. When there is concentration, the mind is not agitated with raga or dosa. Or any other nirvana hindrances. In this way, the mind is calm, suppressed, being away from the nirvana hindrances. And tamika samadhi, momentary concentration, becomes strengthened. So when it is said that the person is endowed with sati mindfulness. It automatically implies that the person also 
it end up with samadhi concentration. Heavy sama vayama, right effort, effort does not accept defilement from arising, and effort opens the path of wholesomeness. Akusalana dhamana bahanaya, kusalana dhamana upasambadaya. The person makes the effort to remove unwholesomeness and to develop wholesomeness. To put it in everyday language, when the person makes effort, effort blocks the way, the path of unwholesomeness, and effort opens the path of wholesomeness. As much there is effort, sati, mindfulness develops. As sati, mindfulness develops, samatha or samadhi, concentration is automatically involved. And kanika samadhi, momentary concentration, is present. As sati, mindfulness is Praiseworthy mindfulness, it is called samasati, right mindfulness. And the noting mind falls calm and collected on the object that the mind is not agitated by raga, dosa or moha, lust, anger or delusion. The mind will be calm and collected. Avekepo samadhi, meaning Having a concentrated mind, the mind will not scatter or the mind will not be distracted. Sambhyuta Samana, Sambhidana Rasa, meaning the Samadhi concentration, unify the associated mental state on the object that has been noted so that the noting mind is calm, collected, unified, away from the agitation of defilement. And the samadhi concentration manifests as calm and steady. And the mind is away from the defilement. When there is some vayama, right effort, there will also be samasati, right mindfulness, and samasamadhi, right concentration. In this way, samadhi sikha, concentration training, is developed. And the quality of samadhi sikha, concentration training, becomes strengthened. The mind becomes strengthened. The mind becomes good quality mind. The mind becomes virtuous and uplifted, being free from defilement. Being free from defilement, the mind becomes beautiful, virtuous, prestigious. As kusala, wholesomeness and banya, knowledge arise again and again, there will be more virtue. Samadhi Sikha concentration training is developed and the virtue of the Dhamma is uplifted. So in one day, in each day, yogis are practicing mindfulness and they are developing Samadhi Sikha concentration group and thus the yogis become virtuous, uplifted, prestigious, being endowed with samadhi sikha, concentration, training, and the mind becomes beautiful. When samadhi concentration is strengthened, one will be virtuous. Samadhi do bhikkhavi bhikkhu yatha meaning the person who is endowed with concentration 
will discern correctly in the way the things are. Having samadhi concentration, the mind is not agitated with the defilement. The nodi mind falls calm, collected, unified on the object that has been noted. And the person becomes sambhajana, the person who discerns. Sambhajanya means knowing, knowing correctly. It can also be called banya. Or in other words, it can also be called jnana. So there are three meanings of san. Janya is knowing. San has the three meanings. The first one is knowing correctly, systematically. So it is not knowing wrongly. And also... It is not hearsay or it is not learned from books, but one knows by oneself. So, sa can also mean sanya, meaning by oneself. Yogi who practices comes to discern by oneself. When noting rising of the abdomen, Yogi discern beyond the form or shape or the manner, but the characteristics of stiffness, tension, warmth, heat, cold, lightness, heaviness, hardness, softness. And also Yogi discern when noting, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and other various objects. By practicing systematically, jockey discerns correctly, and jockey discerns by oneself, not from theory, not from hearsay. As much the viriya, sati, and samadhi, effort, mindfulness, and concentration are strengthened, Yogi discerns completely. And based on the object that the Yogi is noting, Yogi discerns the Sabhava Lakana, unique individual characteristics, and Yogi knows the characteristics of impermanent suffering, and non-self. Discerning impermanent not discerning the impermanent suffering and non-self, and also discerning the fast arising and passing away of objects. Later on, Yogi discerns the dissolution of objects, both the object that has been noted and the noting mind dissolves. In this way, Yogi discerns the dissolution of both the object and the noting mind. So the object and the noting mind come to dissolution in pair, in a fast manner. And Yogi discerns completely. So in the word Sambhajanya, San has three meanings. Knowing correctly, knowing by oneself, knowing. In the word Sambhajanya, San has three meanings. The first one is correctly. The second, by oneself. The third, completely. In this way, the person comes to discern correctly by oneself, completely. The unique individual characteristics and common characteristics of objects. In the word Sambhajanya, Pa means in various ways. 
There is knowing in various ways, distinctly, outstandingly, in various objects. When noting every arising object, such as rising and falling of the abdomen, with sustained mindfulness, one comes to discern in various ways, stiffness, tension, movement, and also on other various objects, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, knowing. The Samatha practice concentrates on a single object, and thus one cannot know in various ways by practice of Samatha. And later on, Saraji will explain when jhana is explained. By practicing the Vipassana way, one comes to discern the true nature, not in a single way, but in various ways. And one can discern Dukkha Satya, the truth of suffering, based on the object that has been noted, one will not have cravings. At the moment, one is discerning correctly, avidya, ignorance is removed. When avidya, ignorance is removed, there will not be tasna, craving. And one will also be overcoming clinging. Discerning correctly, one is removing wrong view of person, being, creator. In this way, discerning correctly, one is removing avidya, tasna, and upadana, ignorance, craving, and clinging. The defilement, avijja, tasna, and upadana, ignorance, craving, and clinging, come to a momentary cessation. So when there is the cessation of filiata defilement, the three realms are coming to a momentary cessation. So among the three realms, three vata, Kilesa defilement are the root. By removing Kilesa Vata, round of defilement, Kama Vata, the round of these, and Vipaka Vata, round of resultant, will also be removed. Removing the three rounds, Kilesa Vata and Kama Vata, Vipaka Vata, there will be the Danga Niroda momentary cessation by developing knowledge. So the Bhavana Chitta, the developed mind through the practice of Satipatthana, when it is analyzed, there involves Tanya knowledge. Noting the object with aim and effort, Noting the object with aiming, directing the mind onto the object, there is Sama Sangapa, right application. And discerning correctly, there will be Panya Sikha, wisdom training. So in the noting, when one develops knowledge, there involves the three training, Sila, Samadhi, and Panya morality, concentration, and wisdom. And there will be eight factors of the path. So in the noting that the yogi is noting, when knowledge arises, there will be all eight factors present, eight factors of the path, which is the three training, Silas, Madhi, and Panya, and with the sasana, the teachings of the Buddha. By being mindful, by discerning, 
there will be the Obabhagamaka preliminary path, that is, preliminary to the Ariya Maga. Discerning the Sabhava Lekhana and Samanya Lekhana, unique individual characteristics and common characteristics distinctly, Banya knowledge develops. And when Banya knowledge develops, other factors of the path will also be fulfilled. And through the practice of Vipassana, one discerns in various ways. The practice of Samatha does not discern the characteristics. But by the practice of Vipassana, one gains Samadhi concentration as well as Panya knowledge. One discerns distinctly, clearly, outstandingly, and it is not through theory or it is not hearsay or it is not from teacher. By practicing Siddhipatthana way, one is mindful of the presently arising object systematically and thus one discerns correctly, outstandingly, distinctly in various ways. Pachanya means knowing outstandingly and the word Sambhajanya is used. The word Sambhajanya complies with the practice and it is very nicely used. It is very it complies according to the practice. Pa means Pakara in various ways. So there is knowing of the various ways, knowing various objects, Nama Rupa in its Sabhava Lekhana, unique individual characteristics, and Samanya Lekhana, common characteristics. So it is not the Sutta Maya Jnana, theoretical knowledge, or Sutta Maya Jnana, intellectual knowledge. It is not theoretical knowledge, or it's not the knowledge gained from teachers, but it is the outstanding knowledge. If the word Sambhajanya is left rendered, there are six meanings. Sa meaning correctly, Pa meaning variously. So the meaning of Sambhajanya means knowing the Nama Rupa correctly, variously. Another meaning is knowing by oneself in various ways. And the third one is knowing completely in various ways. And when Pa means outstandingly, the other three meanings will be knowing correctly outstandingly, knowing by oneself outstandingly, knowing completely outstandingly. And they are the, they are the six meanings to the word Sambhachanya. By practicing, yogi will come to know the meaning of Sambhajanya through their practice. Even though they may not be able to explain, but they know the meaning of Sambhajanya through their experience of practice. Buddha used the word Sambhajanya where the word is very concise and meaningful. By the practice of Satipatthana, Jogi discerns the meaning of Sambhajanya. In Satipatthana Udesa, when one discerns noting the object with 
sustain mindfulness, the mind being unified and connected, there will be anupasana, and the yogi is called anupasi. Noting the kaya, there will be kaya, anupasana, satipatthana. Noting the feelings and sensations, there is vedana, anupasana, satipatthana. Noting thought, imagination, citta, anupasana, satipatthana. And noting other general activities such as seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, is Dhamma, Nupasana, Sudipatthana. So based on the object, the Nama Rupa, if one is not mindful, the defilement, avijja, covetousness can arise. And dhormanasa, dissatisfaction, which is dosa, aversion, can arise. Discerning correctly, one removes not knowing. So when Pradipasthana develops, the defilement, nova, dosa, moha, will be removed based on the object that has been noted. By noting the object, discerning the Sabhava Lekhana, unique individual characteristics, and Samanya Lekhana, common characteristics, one will be removing Vijja, Dhana, and Upadana, ignorance, craving, and clinging. And later on, Saraji will explain how Jhana is developed and not being able to remove kilesa defilement, the gamma and vipaka deeds and the resultant will not be removed. And later on, in the next day, Jaraji will explain that by practicing the eightfold path, the vata, the three rounds will come to a stop and failing to practice the eight noble path, the three rounds will not be stopped and this will be all for today. Sadhu, sadhu.